Hello, my name is Dr. Carla Stanton. I'm a family and functional medicine doctor and part of the research team here at The Kidney Coach. And um, I've just been chatting with this lovely lady, Sharon, here about her experience with The Kidney Coach, uh, which I'd love to share with you. She's a 81-year-old lady, retired family and individual therapist and director of a council service. And she has a, a background, her body has a background of rheumatoid arthritis and um, diabetes and, and some heart challenges, as well as um, uh, kidney challenges, which I'll, I'll allow her <laughs> to share. And, and also you shared with me as well that you had a family history of, of kidney disease. And so perhaps without any further ado, I'll let you introduce yourself and your story in your own words and really uh, what your journey's been with the, with the kidney coach. And then we'll take it from there. How does that sound? Okay, without any further ado, I'll hand over to you, Sharon. Pardon me? I'll hand over to you. I'd love you oh. to hear your story about it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, my background is I grew up in a family with my mother who had rheumatoid arthritis, mm -hmm. a very serious. Um, so that by the age of 30, she needed two hands just to pick up an empty saucepan. Mm. And I was very conscious of how much pain that she was in. She did have an alternative practitioner, um, and she took everything that was recommended, but she just continued to deteriorate. Mm. And, um, and then finally was on dialysis three times a week for the last 12 years of her life or 11 years of her life. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's my background about kidney disease. <clears throat> so that when, when I had a re regular primary physician, well, I'll just speak of the last 20 years yeah. because the rheumatoid happened earlier than that, 20 years earlier than that. Right. Uh, and I had regular medical whatever. Uh, but nothing seemed to help it. Um, I tried doing it entirely by alternative means, but I think my body is more resistant mm. than many people's um, because of the multiplicity of things involved, uh, the diabetes and the rheumatoid, and I've had a bypass, a quad bypass, and pacemaker, and, you know, all of the things that probably come from uh, growing up in poverty in a very large family. Mm. So um, I checked my kidney scores every time I had lab work to make sure that I was not having kidney problems. And that was excellent until um, I'm thinking about four years ago, right. uh, all of a sudden my doctor said, you're in third stage kidney disease. And of course, I went berserk inside. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so I s just made an appointment with a nephrologist mm -hmm. immediately. But in the meantime, I researched to see what else was out there that could be helpful. And I came across the Kidney Solution Program. Mm -hmm. I was very impressed by uh, Duncan and Fiona. And um, did all the research I needed to, to figure out that this was a helpful program. So I did uh, get the program. And uh, it gave, I think there are several important things about that. Well, one is that it did give me an eating uh, habit that I had not been good at. And that was eating greens uh, to keep an alkali system. I'd heard about alkali systems, you know, probably all my adult life. I've always been a pursuer of good health in terms of eating right and exercise and so forth. But with the kidney disease, I knew I had to up my game. Mm -hmm. And uh, so <clears throat> if I had a friend now who told me their kidney were starting to have problems, the first thing I would say would be to tell them about the program and to give them the link to it mm -hmm. and suggest that they get it and follow it. Uh, I know that for many people, just following that strictly 
probably makes a big improvement mm -hmm. in their kidney scores. Mm -hmm. uh, mine um, haven't budged that much. I was diagnosed with it with a kid, uh, EFGR 60, mm -hmm. and uh, it's I've kept it stable at that. Mm -hmm. uh, so with the program, I believe the program is responsible for my being able to keep it at 60 instead of declining. Mm -hmm. The way I do the program is I uh, drink the kidney tea uh, three times a day, mm -hmm. and I put astrology, make some astragalus in it mm -hmm. uh, for one time a day. And, uh, and then I follow the alkali program. Yes. Uh, I do my own, all my own cooking. Uh, to, in order to have it as healthy as possible. Mm -hmm. And so I follow the food program and also um, uh, they're, they're very uh, responsive. If you have any questions that you can send them in, I've sent questions only a couple times because the program really is very self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. But um, each time I sent a question, within 24 hours at the longest, um, I get a response. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, with my friends, I would just say, this is a program that is solid uh, and it's responsive. Mm -hmm. And what for me is I was quite in despair when I discovered that I had the kidney disease uh, because of the family history mm -hmm. and also um, this was a, just a year or two ago, but my youngest brother, the youngest of 14, um, was diagnosed with such severe kidney disease that he had to go on dialysis three times a week right away. Mm -hmm. So in the meantime, I'm thankful for the program, which I believe has really responsible for keeping uh, my kidney score stable. Mm -hmm. And the creatinine uh, has improved. Um, that stays stable at, um, I think it's about a 0.8. Right. Um, but that had been above that 1.1 1 .1 that's that's supposed to be the top of, of what you can tolerate or whatever, however you put it. Yes. So uh, let's see. I think I have gotten myself lost. Yeah, no, you've done. That's amazing. You've done a great overview of, of everything you've done there. Thank you. And um, so what, what have you found most um, beneficial to you about, about this process, about the, the kidney disease solution or the kidney coach that's been most okay. beneficial to you, would you say, of all those things? I say, well, probably two things equally. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing in my mind, actually, is that the program gave me hope. Mm -hmm. I was so scared when I was diagnosed with the kidney disease. <clears throat> and I think I thought I'd be on dialysis the next day mm. uh, just because of the way it was put to me was that I was in third stage or fourth stage or whatever the heck kidney mm. failure. And I didn't know that that was the first um, least level. Right. I thought that meant dialysis right. tomorrow. Yes. So the program just immediately allayed my um, my panic mm. uh, about what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. It gave me hope, and it gave me something solid that I could do to help myself. Mm. And uh, I hadn't gone to a nephrologist yet. I had made an appointment, but it took a while to get in. So in the meantime, I started the program. And then by the time I went to the nephrologist and she checked everything out uh, and, and learned what I was doing, mm -hmm. she said, well, you should on that kind of a diet and that kind of a program be able to stay stable enough to live as long as you want to live, which I had told her was 104. <laughs> yeah. But uh, so anyway, she did not. She looked over all of my, you know, the medications that I was already on because I have heart disease, although that's definitely under control now. 
Mm -hmm. I have diabetes and that's under control and the blood pressure and all the things you know that that you can get mm -hmm. especially I think because my genetic composition from my family of origin uh, is very poor mm -hmm. uh, so this uh, <clears throat> the biggest thing I think is that it gave me hope and it gave me courage and determination uh, to carry on and to be really totally faithful to the program. Mm -hmm. Having said that, I am on, um, well, well, I'm on medications which have effects on the kidneys. So uh, the program has a lot to work against, but uh, the medications I am on have stabilized everything else. Yes. And mm -hmm. so uh, they're, they're valuable to me. Right. Uh, I don't know if I already said this, but the other piece of this is, it uh, seems, I think that my body is not as responsive to alternative solutions as a lot of people's are. There's a lot of my friends who will do alternative things and have results right away. And okay. for me, it simply has never been that like that. No matter if I took it four times as long as you needed to take it to see results, I one by one, I would drop things off. But with the kidney disease program, and uh, especially their eating program, and the uh, supplements like the nettle tea, and I think I think I'm maybe I said I I make this green drink that I do three times a day. Yeah. I think I might be starting to repeat myself, so I better stop there. You're good. No, thank you. That's really helpful, and it's so important to to um, you know that aspect of hope that we don't have to just sit back and watch things decline that we have power to 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 take action and change with the support uh, of, of the program and, and our physicians to, to, to kind of keep monitoring things so that's wonderful thank you for sharing that is there anything finally that you know someone who might be watching this who maybe they've been diagnosed with a kidney challenge and they're maybe sitting on the fence and, and they just what, what advice would you give to them about um where to begin um, in this journey? Well, I would recommend to them that they immediately get the program. Uh, it has such a complete uh, informative package, mm -hmm. everything that you could ever need or want to know about not only kidney disease, but you know everything that contributes to it. Um, it provides good guidance in the food uh, program. I keep their uh, the crib sheets <laughs> with the alkali and the acid yeah. uh, that he provided, and um, and just staying faithful to that could be enough to keep the kidneys stable. But for many people, could bring immediate improvement. Mm. So that's I'd recommend just starting there, but. And then also, you know, I'll let them know the resources like a nephrologist, which I never even knew how to pronounce the word before. Um, and in my case, I had already started the program and the nephrologist didn't make any changes because she seemed to think I was doing everything that could be done. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yes, absolutely. It's it's everyone supporting that journey in your process together and having having, you know, your nephrologist support and being able to monitor as well as you know having other tools that you can call upon to empower you and so yes. thank you so much for for sharing your story and for keeping up with the program and um yeah keep us posted uh, as to how your numbers are going i'm so pleased that they've stayed so stable for the last few years ever since you've been on it so thank you thanks for spending the time with me this morning and, and with all of us and um yeah we'll check in soon so thank you okay I, I, I was, I'm really glad to do it because I want other people that this happens to, to have hope. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think you've absolutely given, given that to us this morning. Thank you. Take care. You're welcome. Right. Bye. Bye.